Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for another full self-driving video. This is 12.3.1, just got the update installed. Um, so it, since it is Sunday night, we are going to do our saluter route. We have not done that yet. I know a couple of you asked about the bridge. So this is that route where we have a um, bridge with a hard to see um, unprotected left. Um, cars coming from the right, you can't really see because the bridge includes them. So we're gonna do that route. We're gonna see, also, maybe there's some other changes. I don't know what exactly was supposed to change on this version. Uh, if you wanna see, software update, 12.3.1. I don't know, it didn't tell me anything in the release notes. Um, we're also gonna see if, um, if, um, what am I trying to say? If we can get zero interventions on this drive for the first time. I've never had zero interventions because I've always had to adjust the speed. So we're gonna see. Also, we're gonna try and make this one take, so I don't have to have to edit anything. It makes life way easier, and it gets you guys the, vid uh, the video a lot quicker to see what, see if anything's different. So it's not speeding up to 45 here, which I don't know because normally I would get on the highway right now, but maybe it's because of the car in front because it's keeping a good distance between that car in front of me. See, perfect, because it normally the last ver uh, well, oh, version 11 would slow down too much for that car turning off. Version 12 kept on proceeding. Though so it is going too slow, it's set to 45, so I haven't done anything. I'm curious if it'll speed up if a car gets behind me. I'm gonna reframe, refrain from, okay, well, wait, it's speeding up now? Interesting. Seems like all of a sudden, right right as I got there, it just decided to speed up. I'm gonna refrain from adjusting the speed as much as I can. So this is appropriate speed for this road. That's great speed for this road. We just passed the cop. Which is why you shouldn't shouldn't speed too much. We're gonna see, so one thing to look for is this turn right here has a stop sign on the opposite direction as if I was turning onto this road. And my car every single time would think it has to stop for that stop sign. Only like one version did it never do that. And it's been version after version after version after version. I would have to always press the pedal to keep it from stopping at that stop sign when there was no stop sign to stop at. So we're gonna see if it does it this time. Because it shouldn't, because it should be based on human. Uh, if human doesn't see a stop sign there, well, it's not gonna stop. Let's see. Look there. <laughs> it does it just fine. So that's what we wanna see. Let's go ahead and um, edit our stop. Let's get rid of this. I love that they finally fixed routing on nav. It's just so quick now. It's so great. That that would have been a nightmare. That would have just ruined everything. It just it's like basically instant now. I think it's all a school zone here, so it's being ca extra cautious it seems. But also we're going around a fairly steep bend. But it's Sunday night, so no school in session. So I don't really have to worry about children running around. Not usually. So there could be events on Sunday, but um, I don't see anyone around right now. So as you can see, the map data is still wrong here, but it still did just fine with that. Turning onto this road is always interesting coming up here because it's kind of a blind turn. Um, you can't really see the cars coming from the right even as a human. So you just kind of have to go for it. Once you once you, you know, have enough space coming from the right, you just kind of make the turn. We'll see how the car does. The car has been doing pretty well in the last few years. It's a little bit hesitant and a little bit not smooth but it's, it's made it. Let's see what it does here. So as you can see, I can't see to my right right here. Now I can see. Okay. And normally it would go too fast right in here. And this is a very good speed. Like this is exactly how fast I'd go. This is a really, this is perfect in here. It would normally actually speed up to 25 immediately and go too fast. It's actually slowing down a little bit because it's you no know, narrowing out just just a tad. We have this stop sign right here. It's always had a hard time right here at this stop sign. This 
one seems new. I don't remember it saying two-way on there. Good stop and proceeded. Say about as good as it's ever done this so far. So what we want to do is across the highway. Right across the highway here. Now we have to cancel this point. Ah. See, it used used to let you cancel that. Let's see if it routes quick enough. We want it to go to the left. I'm gonna make it go to the left. No, see. Okay, that's not gonna be a disengagement because I want to go with this bridge. It's not gonna do it, is it? Okay. Um. That that's just so crazy how it won't do that. Well, go now. It just won't do it. It's not actually closed, is it? Yeah. I don't understand why it won't do this road. It's like it wants to go the other way. So we're going to make it go... Like, it wasn't going to fail this turn, guys. So we're not going to count it, count that. But it's just, Nav just doesn't want to go this way. Everyone complains like, oh, just let the car do its thing. I have a certain specific route that it must follow. And it must follow this route. Because, it's, specifically, I want to test this bridge. Now, if we get another version, like, tomorrow, we can test the same thing and I'll go the other way. But until I've tested this route with this stop sign up here, with this bridge, and just so you have full coverage of what the, the obviously you can't see the B pillar, but you can see the the repeaters. So it stops good right here. There is a car coming to the left, obviously. And what it's done before in the past is clenched out. So it can't see, can't see. And now it can see probably. That is wow, okay. That was good. Like it wait it it creeped all the way up until like it knew nothing was coming from the left, so it creeped a little bit into the road so it can make sure it could see from the right. That was that was really good. I mean that's what a human would do. If like if you knew no one's coming from the left and you couldn't see from the right, you would creep a little bit into the road and like as soon as you knew there was no one coming, then you would commit and keep going. You would just have to look far enough ahead to the left to make sure no one's coming. And that works really well. Is it see if it's going to slow down for this yellow light right here? Perfect. In fact, it even sped up a mile per hour. Really good, because it would always kind of has break at that flashing yellow right there when it shouldn't. So, I'm trying to think. Have I intervened? I have not intervened at all so far. And usually at this point, we're actually going too fast because this is a school zone. Um, if this was a weekday... I would probably, um, probably not allow that. See, as you can see, that police car right there, if I, I would have disengaged, if that police car was all of 10 seconds earlier, I would have disengaged. No doubt. Because yeah, as a 20 zone, I was going 29, and I'm about to get to the 35, so maybe, maybe he's not going to come back and get me, because I would be very upset if I got, got a ticket. Right there, I'd not be happy. Um, but yeah, we'll see because it's now going 38, 39, and the 45. I think it's because of the curves, and so if, the, if it's gonna go that hesitant around curvy mountain roads, we're gonna have a problem. Tesla, the speed limit is totally comfortable on these roads. Like the speed limit was designed for the average driver in this area. It needs to learn how to drive in the mountains by people who live in the mountains. And so it needs to, it should be able to go to the speed limit around these curves. I'm sorry if you're from the flatlands, just how we drive here, and that would be really annoying for it to always go under the speed limit because it's too afraid to go around curves. It's very comfortable for those that live here. And it just doesn't take long to get used to it. Now see right here, so like it doesn't need the brake there. 
Like, it can go 50 around this. It would be totally fine. Like, this is very comfortable right now. Extremely comfortable. If you saw my crazy hill test, you would have seen that um, it went too fast for me on that. I, I, I was okay with it, but, like, my mom would have been yelling for me to turn it off. And she lives here, so she's like, right? So she lives in the mountains, so you, she's used to the curves. But that was going too fast around those curves. Just, most people would not enjoy it. It's hard to tell from the video, most people would not like it. So, besides the obvious nav reroute I had to do because nav wouldn't work, um, this is the first time ever I've done zero interventions on this drive. I think that's fantastic, everyone. Let me know what you think. I'll be posting this to X and YouTube. Uh, subscribe to me on both platforms, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, quick tip, we might have a Tesla service center to come. More on that tomorrow. Bye.